Welcome back to the agenda. Today we have probably the most special guest we've ever had. Well, thank Today you. we have someone from the mystical island of Canada. What? Oh, shoot, I, I almost forgot. Uh, can we get a translator out here? Translator, eh? There. Uh, I can't speak Canadianese, so we have our special translator who speaks 11 different languages. Hi. So, uh, my first question, uh, uh, how was the trek here? Uh, did your bobsled handle the trip well? I drove in a car. What? I drove in a car. Uh, a 1995 Toyota Corolla, to be exact. Bought from a sketchy used car salesman. Can you uh, translate that? He says he drives a 1995 Toyota Corolla that he got from a <sighs> sketchy used car salesman. How did you not get that, eh? So, uh, yeah, sorry. Canadian ease is a very rare language to come across. He, he says he doesn't come I across. I know what he said. Sorry. So, when your team loses a hockey game, like, what does that look like to the bystanders? We either make fun of the ref for being blind or we go to the bar and make fun of the ref for being dumb. What do th you think we are? The British? Um, Translate, please. Uh, he just said a bunch of words that I don't know the terms for. What do you mean you don't know what he said? <laughs> I am literally speaking English, eh? Oh, ask him something else, I'll probably know what he's saying. All right. When are the Mies going to invade? The, the Mies? Mies? Yeah. The Mies? Look, I was only pretending to translate what he said, uh, what he was saying, because I felt bad about you being dropped on your on your head when you were a little baby. Uh, but maybe this has gone too far. What do you mean too far? Sorry, I'm not the person who's fluent in 600 languages like you are. He's I'm speaking, speaking English. English. Oh you are just so Listen, ugly. You know that. Like, he's in North the Moose America. Army and the Canadian Dude, like, Geese Force will be striking tomorrow. Speak, tomorrow. Do you think exactly you're so superior to because like Hong Kong Tall, Ming Chalim? not transfer ownership of Alaska to us. Use our roads, use our cars, use our planes to get there. It's conveniently attached to us already, so you might as well hand it over. You've been warned. 